Covering someone else's beat. You'll be asked to do this by a manager when a reporter is out sick or on vacation. I was selected to cover the shift of the city hall reporter while she was on vacation because of my experience covering state government. And of course, I took it seriously. I went to the city council meeting and of course covered what happened. And you'll do that as well. You don't need a video teaching you how to do that. It's what I did afterwards that's very much worth sharing. Here's what I did. I typed up all of my notes from that meeting, organized them, and even added in some of my own thoughts as to the potential as future story ideas for that reporter. Now, there wasn't a whole lot that came out of that meeting because it was just your regular, normal, pretty boring city council meeting. But a few things did happen and I made note of some of the infighting that took place in that meeting. So as she went to make follow-up calls playing catch up on what happened, some of the inside baseball things, she would have an idea of what she should be hearing. Or if somebody neglected to tell her, because sources don't have to necessarily tell you everything that went on behind the scenes, she may have some information that they're trying to hide from her. In fact, I even told her about some of the infighting that I didn't understand, but that she might be able to make sense of because, again, she's the ultimate expert on that beat. The reporter was amazed. I remember to this day how genuinely she thanked me and told me that in all her years of reporting that no one had ever taken the time to do this. I would later find out that she requested that if she ever called out sick or went on vacation again, that I be the one to cover her beat because I actually paid attention. And that also proved to her that I would treat her sources well versus burning them and getting her in trouble. So not only are you doing something nice for another reporter, you'll also earn a lot of respect for it. And again, I found this out a year, year and a half later, and in that time in between, when she went on vacation or called out sick, I was the one they sent to those meetings. And I never put the whole story together, I just thought they did it because I know politics. And yeah, that was a reason too. But again, I didn't know and was very flattered that she'd actually said, you only put Andrew on that beat, here's all the things he can do, and here's the emails he sends me afterwards. So it also impressed my managers as well. So doing this can have all sorts of positive results. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'll see you in the next video.